Okay, so I will be doing number six and um, the COVID related stuff for this uh, assignment. So the first one is in chapter three, start and hunt, break down the significance of <clears throat> uh, Jesus saying his spirit filled disciples witness to him to Jerusalem uh, with Judea, Samaria and the end of the earth. So my answer to this is, so Jerusalem could represent our immediate surroundings or local community where we interact with people on a regular basis such as our neighbors, colleagues, family members. Uh, this may involve sharing our faith through acts of kindness, speaking about our beliefs in everyday conversations, and just being a positive influence in our community. Judea could represent our wider geographical area or region, where we have less frequent interactions with people, but still have opportunities to share our faith. faith. Uh, this may involve engaging with people from different cultural or religious backgrounds, uh, volunteering in our community or supporting missionary efforts in, uh, in the region. And then Samaria could uh, represent <clears throat> areas or groups of people that we find challenging to interact with or understand. This could be people with whom we have ideological differences or those who have been uh, marginalized or excluded from mainstream society. Being a witness in Samaria may involve challenging our own procedures, seeking to understand different perspectives and being a voice for justice and compassion. <laughs> Uh, so that was that that that's that's how they will look like in our current context. And what area do you feel that you need to most help from God to be a witness or why? Uh, so what I had was we all have areas where we need God's help to be better witnesses. Um, for some, it may be overcoming fear and insecurity and in sharing their faith. For others, it may be developing a deeper understanding of the Bible or being part of being more patient and compassionate towards those who are resistant to the gospel. Whatever the case may be, <clears throat> it's important to remember that being a witness is not just about what we say, but also how we live our lives and treat others. Um, for the COVID question, uh, which is based on uh, based on what you learned this week and in light of the current state of the world as the world as a result of the COVID nineteen pandemic and current racial tensions, how can you intentionally apply the concept of the pre priesthood or the believer to your own life and context? So. The concept of the priesthood of the believer teaches that Christians ha Christian that every Christian has direct access to God through Jesus Christ and therefore has the responsibility and privilege to serve as a priest to others. In practical terms, this means that every Christian has the ability and responsibility to minister to others, to be in light in the darkness, and to share the love and hope of Christ with those with those around them. Uh, in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, this can mean being intentional about reaching out to those who are isolated or vulnerable, such as elderly uh, or like anyone that just really needs it. Uh, <clears throat> in light of current racial slurs, the concept of priest, priesthood of the believer can mean being intentional about listening to and learning from those who have different experiences and perspectives. But overall, the concept of priesthood of the believer emphasizes importance of activity, actively living out our faith in our daily lives, serving others and being a positive influence in our communities. In the midst of challenging times, it can be a source of hope and inspiration 
for believers to make a difference and impact the world for Christ.